All right, so now I'm going to show you how to save files, how to uh, create uh, project folders, and uh, how, to, how to structure them. So um, to save a file, you um, either go to the um, file menu here. So you have a few um, options here. So you can just create a new, uh, new project here. I'm going to get to this in a second, create project folder. And you can also open uh, other files or open recent ones. And um, you also, like yeah, here you can save and save as, and importing and exporting. Um, so if you, s you can also just press um, Control S, and uh, it's going to open your explorer. And I've just created a sample folder called my, fo my folder. And now if I just um, uh, save this here, um, you can see it's now saved as new project one. So the right thing about Touch Designer is that it creates versions. It might be a bit confusing in the beginning or weird, um, but it's actually really great because um, I can now save this, uh, change something here. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> rotating this cube um, and uh, save this again and as you can see up here it uh, increments the number so now uh, whoops if I go to uh, losing it here if I go to my folder here um, it automatically the catch designer auto automatically created a backup folder and now you can see uh, the, the base project and also the current number and if you go into the backup you see the previous versions so now if I go back to touch and like save this a couple of times um, you can now see um, there's like we now have the current version here so number eight and the backup there's all the other versions so now um, if I if I did something uh, currently here and saved it, then I want to go back to an older version because, I don't know, I messed up, um, for example. Now you can just go to your backup and then uh, open an old file and then save that as a new one if you want to, for example. So these are just um, versions. So every time you save, um, a new version is going to be created. So this is pretty, pretty nice. Um, you don't have to worry about messing something up. You can always go back if you save often enough. And it also doesn't matter if this goes very high. Um, the, the, like the files are very small, as you can see. It's just a bit, few kilobytes. So you can really uh, go crazy with saving. Um, so now to the Create Project folder um, option here. So if you click on that, this little dialog opens. And you can specify where you want to um, save uh, your folder. And uh, how you want to call it, and if you want to rename the file to this name, and you can also um, click on these check boxes to um, create uh, folders automatically. So if I click on create, you can now see um, in my new project and uh, my my folder, so in my project folder um, or the the, the uh, direction that I specified, um, <laughs> you can now see the new project f uh, folder being created or haven't been created and um, n now and there there is uh, your projects and um, uh, the uh, folders uh, of course they're empty right now but the folders that you automatically created um, so generally what I well, what I recommend is not just using these so I also don't um, usually call this image but I do uh, usually make a media folder so where I put all kinds of uh, images inside or like f video files that I'm needing for the project. And usually I also have this audio folder where my um, yeah audio files are in, <laughs> obviously. And um, then there's this backup folder always. I usually also have an export um, folder. So where I uh, yeah export my things to. Um, so it's like a usual uh, kind of set up for my um, folders. So for example, it's here, um, I, I have this folder for it. Like I had this challenge in March um, where I did something every every day where like I made a uh, 
like a project every day and I just have this one folder uh, where it pulls everything uh, like save everything in and then I have like this export folder here I don't didn't need the other ones uh, for these ones the other folders all right <coughs> so um, so much to saving and folders and I'll see you on the next one